Uh, greetings, viewers. Uh, my name is Refile, and the person next sitting next to me is my partner Abigail, and I come from Soweto, Soweto Rockville. Oh, the reason that made me to come to Charis uh, Missionary is because of I had encounters uh, in my dreams, uh, dreaming the man of God saying I must come to see him before I get married. And um, I think it was three years back, if not mistaken, Almost but. I delayed and then I got a second dream again late, I uh, think last month, last month, that's when I knew her. it's a very agent thing, I need to come and see the man of God, that's what brought me to, to come to Charis Missionary. Basically what happened when I entered uh, in the office of the man of God, uh, the man of God told me that this is an issue of marriage, that there's a spirit that is attacking me that doesn't want me to marry and I, com I confirmed it to be true. Because, and he also told me that we, we argue a lot with uh, my, my partner here, which is uh, which I confirm it to be true because of, sometimes I would just argue with her for, for no reason, not knowing what is what is wrong with me or feeling a certain way towards her. Sometimes I would just keep quiet for the whole day without even talking to her and not knowing what's the reason behind that. But the man of God said there's a spirit behind, an evil spirit that is working really hard uh, for me not to get married. I have never spoken to the servant of God. This was the first time meeting him one on one. I've never spoken to him in any place. We never even met any anywhere in the malls or something. We never met. To me, it brought peace. To be quite honest, it brought peace into my life, into my heart because uh, I was actually asking myself questions: sorry, what what is wrong with me? Why am I feeling this way? Why am I behaving this way? Why is this thing like it seems like I'm struggling in everything that I try to do? There's no going forward and all those things to find out that there's a spirit behind everything. And um, that brought peace into my heart. Or, oh, actually, there's something uh, that, that is fighting me. That's why I'm behaving the way I'm behaving. It's not me, it's the spirit behind that is uh, propelling whatever it's propelling. So, yeah, that's exactly what. The servant of God also said to me that um, I, I'm born a leader of my family. Yes, I'm the youngest, but I'm born uh, as a leader of my family, and I'm going to help my family. You also touched on uh, the issue of marriage, but yeah, it was the same thing. And then he talked about my mother. He asked where my mother was, and I told, her, tell, told him that my mother is at home. And then she said that we need to pray with regard to the issue of her legs. Her legs are starting to fail her and that she, she must see us getting married. So, so, yeah, so I believe when he touched us, uh, he was also touching my mother as well. And then he also talked about uh, the issue of promotion. Um, yeah, I, I, I've been working for a particular company for a while now, and I feel like I've been overlooked and uh, when, t when it's time for promotion, somebody else always gets it and I never get the promotion. So he prayed for me to get a new job and a, and a promotion. Yes. He, he, he talked about me loving God uh, so much uh, that he sees me praying for people and talking to people. And then he said he's praying for me to release my calling. That's what he said. Yeah. To be quite honest, uh, they, 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 they used to tell me that I'm called um, uh, mostly by my, I think my spiritual father is the one who used to always tell me that you, you, you are called, you, you are called. Um, so it didn't come like a shock, but yeah, but the confirmation, it, I, I confirm it to be true, uh, what the man of God has said. So he said he's anointing me also, mm. yes, uh, for, for service. For service. Amen. Hey, me, I'm feeling I, excited. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling happy. happy. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm feeling happy, and a bit of emotional, because um, I got to meet the man of God one on one. Yeah, yes. thank God for, for 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 giving us the opportunity to to meet His servant one on one. Amen. Yes. Amen. The the apostle also gave us words of encouragement. Don't give up, um, even though you might see that things are not going the way that you desire uh, but in the end God's will will, will, will prevail. prevail yeah
giving up is not an option. Uh, yeah, giving up is not an option, uh, but there's always a solution in God. Uh, we must make use of uh, uh, the opportunity that we get with the man of God so that you can get your, your deliverance. Amen. Bless you in Jesus' name. Receive now, 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 now. Jesus' name. Now, take it. Jesus' name. Your blessing. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.